Hello friends, today we discuss about what is degree of freedom. So the definition of degree of freedom that is the minimum number of independent coordinates required to specify the motion of a system at any instant is known as degree of freedom of the system. To understand this definition, we take one simple example. So here, first we consider spring mass system. Here, spring mass system is restricted to move only in one direction that is the along the x direction only. So here, independent coordinates required to specify the motion of a system at any instant that is x. So the degree of freedom of this system is 1. So again I repeat this definition the minimum number of independent coordinates required this word is very important independent coordinates required to specify the motion here the motion is along only in x direction so the independent coordinates required that is x at any instant is known as the degree of freedom of the system so in spring mass system restricted to move in one direction along x direction only that's why degree of freedom of this system is 1 so we write another equation that is number of degree of freedom that is given by number of mass in the system multiply number of possible types of motion of each mass so here what is the meaning of independent coordinates so to understand the concept of independent coordinates here we take one example here we consider four bar mechanism and slider crank mechanism so in four bar mechanism you may feel that since that being two coordinates theta and phi the system should be two degree of freedom and in slider crank mechanism also there is a two coordinates theta and phi the system should be two degree of freedom but this is not true because here theta and phi are not independent coordinates because for every value of theta there is one and only one value of phi so phi depend on theta so phi is not independent coordinates so degree of freedom of this system is one so in four bar mechanism and in slider crank mechanism you feel that since that that being two coordinates theta and phi that's why degree of freedom that is two but this is not true because for every value of theta there is one and only one value of phi so phi is depend on theta so degree of freedom of the slider crank mechanism and four bar mechanism that is one now we see the example of two degrees of freedom so what is the meaning of two degrees of freedom two degrees of freedom that is the two independent coordinates required to specify the motion so here we take one example of mass supported on spring which can move in in the direction of spring and can also have angular motion because here spring stiffness are different that's why mass supported on a spring which can move in the direction of x and can also have the angular motion theta so the system has two degree of freedom because here independent coordinates required to specify the motion that is x and theta we take one another example for two degree of freedom that uh, here we consider combination of system involving linear motion and oscillating motion of a pendulum so here uh, it is a combination of linear motion and pendulum motion that is oscillating motion so here to specify the motion we require two coordinates x and theta so the system has two degree of freedom now we take another example that is the multiple degree of freedom so here we consider one object in space so a body in space in general has six degree of freedom means linear motion in along x y and z direction so three motion and again angular motion about this axis so again three so total degree of freedom is six so body in space in general has six degree of freedom means linear motion in x y and z direction and angular motion about this axis so degree of freedom that means 
the minimum number of independent coordinates required to specify the motion of a system at any instant is known as a degree of freedom so the degree of freedom that means the minimum number of independent coordinates required so in case of slider crank mechanism and four bar mechanism there are two coordinates theta and phi but phi depend on theta so coordinates required to specify the system that is only one so here the minimum number of independent coordinates required to specify the motion of a system at any instant is known as a degree of freedom of the system and we find degree of freedom by the use of equation also number of degree of freedom is equal to number of mass in the system multiply number of possible types of motion of each mass so example of one degree of freedom that is the spring mass system and this spring mass system restricted to move only along x direction that's why coordinates requires only x so degree of freedom is x another example of one degree of freedom that is four bar mechanism and slider crank mechanism and two degrees of freedom example that is a mass supported on a two spring which have different stiffness so here mass supported on a spring which can move in the direction of spring and also have angular motion so two coordinates is required and also combination system involving linear motion and angular motion so this system also have two coordinates x and theta so degree of freedom of this system is two and last one is multiple degree of freedom so object in space in general has six degree of freedom uh, three that is linear motion in x y and z direction and three along three that is angular motion about this axis. So total degree of freedom that is 6. Thank you.